Water resistance, one feet. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> not 30 meters, not 50 meters, one feet. Hello and welcome to the Budget Timekeeper. So today I have an interesting topic here. I thought I'll have a look on Amazon and see what the best-selling watches are for men in, uh, in the wristwatch section. And I was expecting the Casio A158, but it is at number four. Now I have seen this at number one most of the time. Whenever I've come across the A158 on Amazon, it's at number one. So I wanted to quickly browse through and see what patterns we can detect. So starting off, we have a fast track, a matrix, time. Well, let's actually spend a little time on the top four or five. Let's see what why they are uh, this high. So fast track analog unisex 2k sold number one bestseller currently um, looks like a simple big watch mm -hmm. Let's see if they have case diameter 57 it can't be 57 no it doesn't make sense look at this on her wrist Let's assume she's a big girl and she has a bigger wrist. Let's say she's got a six and a half inches. Let's say um, most girls, I think six to six to a quarter. Um, yeah, this is not 57. This is 40, 45 probably. Yeah, so measurements are not correct here. 150 grams, no way. So yeah, weird that the first watch here is weird. Let's just quickly, quickly go. I don't want this video to be long. So, reviews kind of looks big on most people. But again, Indians tend to prefer oversized watches. So, yeah, this one is a bit weird. The first watch is weird. Second is a matrix. I've never heard of this. Uh, okay, it's not bad looking. It's okay. What colors do you have? So apparently this green one has sold more than 1,000 units. 44.22. Okay, size is good. Water resistance, one feet. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> not 30 meters, not 50 meters. One feet. One feet. Not one foot. One feet. Uh, 44.22. Is this okay? It's not too bad. Um... Case material, stainless steel, uh, band material, silicone, um, band with 22, bezel function, GMT, okay. Stainless steel bezel material for the bezel, stainless steel for the uh, case, that is not bad apart from the one feet of water resistance. Honestly, this blue one doesn't look bad. Yeah, let me know if you want me to consider one or two of these. It'll be painful. Like, I want at least the watch to look good. And this one, okay, I can say it is a decent looking watch. And for 300, was it? Yeah, we could take a risk. I mean, I've spent more on straps, like entry level straps, not even expensive ones. I'm only worried about the one foot of water resistance. <laughs> Time wear. 318 kind of looks the same but has 11,000 um, ratings 3.8 it's just under 4 we'll skip that we only want 4 stars we're not looking at anything below it of course we have the legendary Casio A158 4,000 sold 36,000 ratings yeah outstanding this will be back at uh, number 1 very soon uh, Louis Devin Louis Devin I've heard this one as well 379 Okay, genuine quality product, stainless steel back. Okay, so it's probably brass. Yes, brass, 45, 22. Yeah, straps have become wider and wider. I went to like a watch shop yesterday to look for stainless steel bracelets. And the guy said, it's, it's just 20 plus these days because I needed an 18 millimeter for my uh, Kohinoor HMT. And he just had like a one or two. All right, um, we have Timex. So besides the Casio, our first bigger brand, let's say. Um, again, simple dial looks okay. Um, 
30 meters grass brass 40 20 sizes size proportion is good yeah it looks all right it's a brass one obviously it's a bit more expensive 957 uh, v2a anything else fossil fossil at number 16 bigger brand 5000 okay also notice all these other watches are well under a thousand most of them and this fossil is sitting at number 16 at 5000 how many have this sold last month to be this high 700 plus i guess i see in india fossil is well established marketing is well done people often associate fossil with a high-end brand and a lot of people gift these watches so over the last month or so there have been a lot of holidays festivals in india so i'm guessing a lot of these have been gifted like if you are in a wedding the groom will probably get a fossil depending on like the class i guess middle class family um rich people might give shadows rados or something so yeah interesting to see a fossil this high up and it's an expensive one uh time where time skimmy at uh, number 20 i'm okay with skimmies this one looks like a homage to the casio a1500 which is like a big watch digital watch just big numbers so skimmy is uh, quite established as well i guess i mean I'm, I'm okay with skimmy they do make homages but they serve a purpose another skimmy at 33 Acnos, another homage to the a158 168 you can see the display is so bad we can even see in the pictures how bad it is 240 only might be the cheapest one here they have sold 400 um what else benny rs another weird brand i kind of considered it a few times but yeah i'm not seeing great reviews for this another fossil 7000 at number 46 um then we have page two we have a set of three watches here time where all these shock and awes skimmy oh. uh, this is a homage to the gas yoke nibosi here with a very stylish bauhaus design where you can't even see the case just the tip of the hands i guess long go another watch i've seen this looks like a homage to the submariner I got quickly how many have this sold 200 plus just big numbers here uh, 45 stainless steel stainless steel not bad 20 45 133 grams it's not too bad see these cheap ones what they do is they make good pictures like with casio when you order a casio the website it looks horrible the watch when you get it in person it looks so much better these guys have the opposite they tend to have very good looking pictures but the watch itself better looking in person apparently i'm wrong completely wrong nice watch okay apparently this is a nice watch looks pretty the bracelet isn't good i mean for a thousand you can't really expect a good bracelet it's a, it's a good uh, homage of the submariner um what is the rating on this one four okay uh blah 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 anything interesting here fast track skimmy again cashew and Tyser. i actually have this one in the um i bought it with the leather strap same style same design you have seen the one i have put the nato on recently it's a gold bezel and a black dial so it's the same one i bought it at a 10 percent sale for like 26.95 very good watch big again bigger watch 45 um what number was it at 78 anything else another casio b650 these rose gold ones they don't sell i've even seen it in shops they just sit nobody buys them I, I would have liked like a normal one like the one I have the W217 with a silver case and a black strap that would be nicer uh, Titan here yeah I'm surprised not to see a lot of Titans here we do have a lot of uh, fast track another fossil fossil is well represented in the top 100 I'm surprised not to see an F91 here I guess they tend to run out and maybe currently it's not in stock so a uh, quick look at this suggests to me most of these best selling are the really cheap watches like really really cheap under a thousand under 500 um, everybody seems to make an exception for the 
A158. I will be getting this. I'm just on a bit of a break from buying watches because I have bought a lot over the last couple of months. You also have sections here, most gifted, hot new releases. And yeah, it is gifted. And then we have the surprise watch this high up. I'm pretty sure next month or like if we look at it in a normal uh, month, this wouldn't be here, I, I think. Um, also, would I consider any of these? Let's have a quick look. I am kind of thinking about this one. Uh, maybe I'll pick up one of these cheap ones just for a review. But I don't want to buy anything. Like my policy is not to buy things that I don't like. So I like the look of this one. It also has stainless steel. At least they say it is stainless steel case. So maybe I can consider this. But that one foot of resistance, water resistance, that, that is a problem. Hopefully that is a mistake and it's at least 30, I guess. Uh, this I will definitely buy at some point. Um, so that's two. Mm, two out of the 50. Then we have the next page. Mm, already bought this, so I guess we can count this in three. Yeah, so out of 100, I would buy three. And yeah, the conclusion here is we watch lovers, we live in an echo chamber and we have no idea what the common man is interested in because they just want a simple watch that looks good and is big and cheap. And they buy that. They don't care about brands. <laughs> but even then, a few of them have established legendary status such as the A158. And in India, at least, Fossil is quite well represented here as well. So that is my conclusion for this. Let me know what you think about this. And have you bought any of these ones? Like Fast Track, I can understand. It's a sub brand of Titan. Same for Sonata. But this Aknos, Shop, Shock and Shop, I've never even heard of these before. Louis Devin, I've seen on Amazon whenever I've been browsing. Because Amazon keeps recommending this stuff. But... Yeah, all these cheap uh, homages. This one I've heard of. And apparently these are not too bad if you're not bothered with the homage. If you're not a Casio snob, let's say. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you did, a pointless video, I know, but wanted to have a discussion about something else for a change. Thank you once again. See you next time.